I'm back with another layout and I'm all about color and rainbows right now. I'm taking a Chamel class and, or, or I shouldn't say taking a Chamel class. Yes, I am taking a Chamel class, but her videos lately have been all about rainbows and I think rainbows are happy and we all need that. I'm um, doing the video for this during the um, stay at home orders that a lot of us are experiencing at the moment. So I think happy colors are great. Anyway, this is my great nephew and it's a wonderful black and white photo of him. So it's a great opportunity to use all the color. I love that background paper from Vicki Booten's Color Kaleidoscope. It is the kaleidoscope paper. And then I needed like something to set all that color off. So I grabbed that green paper from Color Kaleidoscope paper. It's the Pop Dots paper. And then there's that beautiful multicolored rain, um, like geometric paper there. That is um, from the six by eight mixed media pad from Color Kaleidoscope. And then lastly, for papers, I grabbed that pink scrap there from Color Kaleidoscope. It's the Paper Hearts, back of the Paper Hearts paper, which I've used that paper a couple of times. I love it. That, um, three by four card is from Color Kaleidoscope. It's the Beyond Words paper, which is um, the, it's the journaling, where the journaling pieces are and, and cut aparts and that kind of stuff. And then yay me, I use this frame and that wood frame is from Cosmo Cricut, really old. I don't think they've made products in a long time. And it says, love this, because I do love this photo of him. He's so cute here, hanging out in the car with his hat turned backwards. Um, at this point, I'm trying to think how old he was, 10 months old. So it's just so cute that, you know, got the baby looking like a big boy. And then I just, I chose to leave some, you know, I'm thinking I'm going to do my journaling here, but I did let some of the color behind that peek out. Um, I found that fray sticker that says loved beyond words. And that is from um, the uh, Vicki Booten Kaleidoscope, Color Kaleidoscope sticker sheets, as is that heart. And then you're not going to see this, but I do add, um, oh, actually, no, that's not true. You do see that I've got the speech bubble that says cheese on there. That's also from that sticker sheet as well. And then what I'm doing right now is I'm fussy cutting that camera from the Beyond Words paper as well, where the, uh, the cut apart three by four card came from. And he's posing for a photo. So I just thought that was kind of a cute way to add an embellishment. And I don't have a ton of, of embellishments for this collection. Although I guess that's not true. I do have a sticker sheet and that kind of thing, but, um, I don't have any die cuts or anything like that, so I'm kind of making my own. And then I'm just um, overlapping that with the uh, um, Beyond Word sticker, so they kind of touch each other there. This is a little banner, and that is also from the um, Beyond Words cut apart. Okay, so I'm going to add that just to that other side, just a little more color because gosh knows. I think it works out okay though because the because the black and white um, just draws your eye right to it of the photo. Um, I did add that tab sticker too. I forgot that, that I had added the tab sticker. And then I'm actually going, he's 10 months old here. I totally forgot. I had to think about how old he was and it's the title of the layout. Oh my goodness. <laughs> more coffee needed this morning. At least I'm doing this in the morning. Um, so these alphas are from Sticko. They're just a kind of a, an alpha. I think I picked it up at Hobby Lobby. Now there is wood on here, but I'm thinking I probably need a little bit more wood. I'm not quite sure what I'm, um, not quite sure what that's going to be yet. But as I'm looking at this, that's one of the things that I'm thinking about. I know what I was doing there. I couldn't spell months in my head, so I was checking to make sure there wasn't an E. <laughs> I don't know why I want to put an E in there, but I do. Uh, yeah, and there I am checking for the date. 
because I wrote those on the back of my photos. I write a, a kind of perhaps a title or what's going on and then a date. Now, I'm adding in some buttons here just because it's one of the things that I have in a lot of different colors. And so um, I, I decided to do that that way, you know, just adding a couple of those in. So I'm gonna add the date here because that way then I can um, just then embellish around that tab. I need to get my button box out more. They're a great little embellishment to add color to a layout and I have them in, you know, all the colors, so that's easy. Okay, then finding another button to, trying to find another button, but I don't want it to have too much of a pattern because otherwise it'll, I'm afraid it'll draw my eye up there and I don't want to do that. So I'm looking in my button box there. And I like the star button, but it wasn't quite the right color. And because it was a different shape, I thought it pulled your eye away too much. And there we go. Now I find a blue that I kind of like. It's in between kind of the turquoise and the brighter blue that I have on there. All right. Funny aside here, I have a very weird uniform on because I have yoga pants, a long sleeve running shirt, and a long sweater on. <laughs> I'm working in my, um, my scarf rooms in my basement and the heat is not is on really, really low down there unless I'm down there. So I think it was a little cold. So I went and grabbed a sweater. Oh my goodness. The things we do because like I don't go out of my house so nobody can see me. All right, I want a little something for that camera to have a little more foundation. So I grabbed my yellow, orange, and red box of Ellie's Studio die cuts and I found this tag. And so I just cut off the other colors and grabbed the yellow because it works pretty well with the yellows in that. It's kind of a yellowy orange within that, um, in the layout, if I can only talk. Okay, then I'm looking at these enamel dots from, and these are the Vicky Booten um, embellishments, and I think I think they're from Color Kaleidoscope, but I'm not positive about that. And I think you're going to see this. I do add a geo tag into that. Collect that. Uh, you may not see this. I added a wood geo tag into that cluster there. Here is some twine, and that is from is from uh, We Are Memory Keepers. And then I'm going to add a wood arrow at the 10 months, too, from Freckled Fawn, because I think you're not going to see that. All right, guys, there is the still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you're all well, and I will be back with another layout again soon. Bye. Bye.